to Amsterdam. <laughs> made it to the first coffee stop in Amsterdam. And the thing about Amsterdam is, if you don't know, a coffee shop here sells wheat. <laughs> and a wheat shop sells coffee. No, just kidding. I don't know. What is a coffee shop called here? Cafe? I think it's a cafe. Yeah. Oh my god, room tour! I think this is the bathroom. Night one, and we are starving to death. We rested a little bit in our hotel room and now we want to go back to the city center. Our hotel is a little bit far off, so it takes like 45 minutes. Yeah, and we had problems, or I had problems paying for the tram, which is an issue, but we better sort it somehow. Yeah, I'm famished. I'm, I'm dying. I can hear my stomach rumbling. <laughs> the cool area of Amsterdam and I think we just found the LGBTQ area We're trying to find a bar to go to She's doing all the work First morning, I slept well. Did you sleep well? You slept well I too. Slept well. I look destroyed. I feel destroyed. I am destroyed. But why is it long? I don't know. We walked 22,000 and more steps. We got drinks. Yeah, we drank like two cocktails each, and I think two shots. Now getting ready for breakfast. Getting ready means just looking somewhat decent and going downstairs. And then we'll get ready or maybe take another nap and then explore Amsterdam further. Look, they have summer. Mm. <gasps> they have mini croissants. They're really tiny. You want one? Yes, please. Oh. <laughs> they have mini chocolate ones too. You want one? No, thank you. <laughs> Thank you. 
my girlfriend got Dutch pancakes. Like I think they're called pofatjes. They're like very small. She's very happy about it. She's getting the coffee, which is really nice. I feel bad for making her be on these vlogs. <laughs> but yeah, breakfast is really good. I'm already full, so I'm gonna just keep eating. So what's on the agenda? The Tony's chocolate store and make our own chocolate bars. The bead store. The bead store to make like charm necklaces and bracelets. And then we'll play, play by ear. Maybe a museum. Yes. Maybe a museum. It could also be that we just end up in the lesbian bar again. That could be nice. I like that place. Last man is not inclusive enough. Plenty bar. We finally made it to the Tony's chocolate store and it was full. It was crowded. As you can see, we even had to wait in line to get in. But this is where they make the chocolate. You can also make your own chocolate bar if you are more lucky than us because we couldn't. And you can also just buy pre-made chocolate bars. They have really cool and fun flavors. And my girlfriend found this chocolate milk. And then we came across this really cute rubber duck store and they sold all types of ducks, even ducks that look like famous people and singers and actresses and actors. I mean, look at that. Hello, this is our last day here in Amsterdam. It's the second morning and the last day, like the third day. I'm at the breakfast by myself because my girlfriend isn't feeling too well. She is still in our room and I thought I used the opportunity to just walk a little bit. But yesterday we didn't vlog as much just because we were so exhausted from the first day and it was raining, we were feeling sluggish and it was just a slow day all in all. And I think the thing we did the most is like spend money on food and just eat. So that's what we did like all day. We tried to go to the Tony's chocolate store, but they have the option to make your own chocolate bar. But it was closed for the day because they're closing for renovation today. So that was bad luck. And then we tried to go to the bead store where you can make your own necklace and break bracelets. And they said that they're also not making any bracelets for the day anymore. And we were like, okay, nice. It's maybe not meant to be today. I went for a second plate and I got two mini cinnamon rolls and another chocolate croissant and a mini bun. I went back to the bead store because I couldn't leave without a necklace and all the places here in Amsterdam are very small so it was quite crowded, it was so full but I pulled through anyway. Look at these charms, they're so cute. And it was really hard to choose a few pieces from all of the choices they had, but I finally got my necklace together. It cost me 29 euros altogether, which is not bad at all. This is my necklace and I did not assemble it in the shop because my girlfriend was sick and waiting for me. Obviously this vlog was a lot different than what I thought was gonna be because my girlfriend wasn't doing well and I didn't want to let her wait for too long. Everything was so crowded. The things we wanted to do didn't work out for some reason and on the second day we were just 
so 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 tired but these things happen and that's human and that's normal and we should prioritize taking care of ourselves instead of capturing moments for vlogs for youtube for instagram for tiktok and i think that's what i did and what i tried to do so this wasn't as exciting as i thought it was gonna be but i hope you still enjoyed this video and if you did i would really appreciate a thumbs up and if you want to see more of my content make sure to hit that subscribe button and to hit that like button and to ring that bell if you want to get notified whenever I post. I see you in the next one. Bye.